Hi, I'm Marlo from Wild Food UK, out foraging again. It's the 4th of November today and I'm in Herefordshire. Um, and it's been lovely and warm recently, although autumn has definitely kicked in. You can see that by the leaves all over the place. Down here in amongst those leaves, you can see what probably looks a little bit from there, like loads of bits of tissue paper. But when you're getting closer, you can see it's a cluster of very strangely shaped mushrooms. Here's one that's already kicked over. And uh, there's its stem. Look at that, amazing structure. Very honeycomb, very pocketed. Possibly, uh, I suppose, a little bit like a, like a false morel. And then if I show you the edge, have a look at that. Very grooved, very complicated. Now, there's the rest of that mushroom. You can see that stem there. And attached at the top is this kind of flat, undulating actually, not flat, but you understand what I mean. Cap, which is attached right at the very top. Now this is a really common mushroom that you'll see in lots of different types of woodland. I've read that it apparently likes to be with beech, um, but there's no beech within sight here. Um, it grows frequently in late autumn. It's called the white saddle or uh, Helvella crisper. Obviously on some of them you can see why the cap actually, where's a, a very good, there's one here. Let's have we have a little zoom in on this one and uh, you can see why the cap looks like a, a saddle. Here's another one that's kicked over, pulling some really funky shapes on top. Now it's one I'm glad to show you because uh, if you're interested in mushrooms you'll, you'll spot these and you'll see them and some old books say that this one's edible when cooked and I suppose technically it is but um, you have to cook them well and uh, when you do when you when you cook these a lot they, they really aren't very pleasant they're not very nice to eat if you don't cook them well then they're known to make people sick and modern science now says or I've read some papers that say that they are uh, potentially carcinogenic so if you've got your old books and you're looking at the white saddle in those, it might say that they're edible when cooked. I think uh, we disregard that at Wild Food UK. I have eaten them and uh, they're not particularly nice. They're not worth it. They're incredible to look at though. Once again, a little close up of the structure of the mushroom. The white saddle. The family's got a dark version the elfin saddle, um, they all get called the elfin saddles actually. Um, and there is one with a smooth stem that's white. There's a couple of others in the family. And the edibility of all of them is suspect. But they're great to look at, so lovely to find. The white helvella. If you want to find out more, go to www.wildfooduk.com.